said, sir, I am a refugee from India. What was the name of the person you went to? Khan Bahadur Abdul Hamid Khan. Okay. He was the chief engineer, irrigation department, Punjab. 1947? Yeah. Okay. So, he said, what is your qualification? I said, I had appeared in a, in a two-year engineering course I had done, and I have appeared in the examination, but the result is not declared. He said, I am sorry, you have no qualification, I cannot appoint you. No, I had no answer to this, and I had to come back. And it was, I was under great depression, and wondering what is going to happen. But next morning, a brilliant wave came in again, and I went back to his office again. Okay. As I entered, he said, my boy, I have told you, I cannot give you a job without your having any qualification. I said, sir, I have a suggestion, if you kindly allow me. He said, yes. I said, you put me through any examination. If I pass, I get a job. If I fail, I walk out. To this, to my great surprise, he agreed. Okay. He called a meeting and said, all right, from tomorrow you will be put under, for a full week's examination, two papers a day. One in the morning, one in the afternoon. Okay. And you, there will be an invigilator, and strictly according to rules, examination rules, you will be tested. So I said, Allah, Akbar, let us see. So I appeared in that examination <clears throat> for one week. And uh, the next Monday when I reported back, fearing the possibility of being told to, go, to just go back. So his deputy was Mr. Khan Bahadur Abdul Ghafur, deputy chief in India. Okay. So I was told to go and meet him. I went to his office, he took out the papers, he said, excellent performance. That means I would get a job. Okay, so you had actually arrived in paradise. Yeah. So, <clears throat> next month, the same day I was given a, an appointment letter and, and told to, and posted to Miyawali Circle. Okay. I said, I don't know where Miyawali is. And, I'm afraid, I wonder how shall I manage. He said, no, you have to go to Mohalpura. The Miyawali Circle office is there. You report to that office and they will send you in the Miyawali district where you are to be posted. I said, all right. Now from old Anarkali, <coughs> I had to walk up to the canal along the mall and then from mall to Mohalpura. It was a long walk. Anyway, I found the office reported to the head clerk or something. I said, this is my appointment letter. Uh, please send it to the uh, superintending engineer. Mr. Ibrahim, Peer Ibrahim was the superintending engineer. So I was called after five minutes <coughs> and he was a very, in a very strict frame of mind, like a British officer and this. <coughs> he asked me questions. I said, this is the situation. I have appeared, I had appeared in examination, but the result was not out. So I've been tested by the chief engineer and he has given me this appointment letter. The appointment letter said that he can be given the job, job of an overseer or draughtsman to his discretion. So after a lot, of, after some questioning, he said, what is your date of birth? I said, this is my date of birth. He said, I don't believe it. You go back to Punjab University take out the UP Gazette, bring it to me and show me that your date of birth is this. So I had to walk back the same day, next morning go to Punjab University Library and try to search the, nothing was available. So I again walked back. It, it was walking back. <clears throat> he said, all right, uh, I'll appoint you as a draftsman in my office. I said, sir, I'm sorry. I don't like sedentary duty. And I was speaking in English. I don't like sedentary duty. Oh, you want to earn money? I said, not at all. I want to learn the job. I want to learn field work. He, he, was, he got annoyed. He said, you are refusing a government job. I said, sir, this is my decision. It has been left to my discretion and I want to exercise it. He said, all right, you are refusing, you go back. I said, can I have the letter? No, I don't believe you. You go back and I'll send the letter. I said, to officially. So I was, it was a great disappointment. I said, what a horrible person is this. Then 
that was the first dis- disappointment of you in pakistan yes yes because this person was very very strict ha uh, ha uh, was he strict uh, because of the job no in fact i, I think he was in the frame in the negative frame of mind the why these people are coming here okay uh, this is my thinking okay anyway so i came back to the khan bahadur abdul ghafur i said sir this is what has happened during the last two days and i my legs are just about to give way i have to walk come he said all right don't worry we'll give you we'll send you to another circle so i was posted to dera jat circle okay and i was told to report to superintending engineer at multan okay so on 10th of october 1947 me i arrived on 19th of september on 10th of october i was on train okay there was only one train between karachi and lahore so uh, and it was known at that time karachi mail so okay. i boarded karachi mail arrived at multan at about sunset time and multan was a very small place in those days so only one train huh only one train only one train between lahore and karachi yes okay so i arrived i arrived at acha before boarding the train i had i had gone again to the jamaat islami people and asking them ke where can i stay in multan i have okay. to go there okay so they gave me a name name mr ulam rabbani and they gave me his address i said all right so the train arrived at multan at about sunset i took a tonga and told them to take me to board gate or whatever it is and i searched for his house and i found it but unfortunately it it there was a big lock and he was not there okay so i wondered where to there was a small masjid first i went to <coughs> to batiara had some food then i went to the masjid and uh, with my little suitcase or something whatever it was and i and, and i joined the isha ki namaz isha after isha ki namaz people you know just went started so must the, have been 8 o'clock in the night ha, for isha prayers ha. and i thought that i would spend the night here okay in the masjid okay. it was a common practice okay so everybody was went away except one gentleman one old man who kept on offering namaz or nafil or whatever it was after he finished uh, he came to me he said who are you i said i am just a musafir and traveler I went traveler I have to come to Multan and I, I was told to I was given the address of Mr one gentleman and I went to his house and but it was locked he said what was his name I said Mr Ulam Rabbani you said, remember the names even mashallah at this age yes yes Mr Ulam Rabbani uh, he said oh he is a railway guard he must be he must have gone to his duty so you don't worry you come and uh, I will I'll take you to my house So he he lived uh, hardly ten yards away from Mr. Ulam Rabbani. He opened his uh, you know batak and it was well furnished with a bed and thing. He said, "You just stay here." So it was a great uh, satisfaction. The Alania had <laughs> had yes. After uh, in the evening in the evening they used to people people used to collect there and you know all sorts of things. Uh, All sorts of talk went on, and 